My name's Green and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. This is excellent. Do you know why it's excellent? Because we just got paid. Stash for cash payment. That means that someone has gone to the stash for cash shop and decided that they too would like to remove Mumbo's mustache. So Jevin has given me... I think Jevin got the price wrong. I think Jevin got very much the price. <laughs> how many? Wait, how many is this? 64 times 64. Wait, how many diamonds has he given me? Does that mean that's just my money now? I did. He got the price wrong, but does this? He is very rich. Like, he's willing to pay me three stacks of diamonds, and I have 20, <laughs> 27. I. We are poor. So maybe. Maybe we just keep the money. Hold on, I have a good idea. <laughs> this is really sneaky. We're gonna go back to the stash for cash shop. We're gonna go to the book. We're gonna check three stacks of diamond. I think what it said was diamond blocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, this is this is devious. This is absolutely devious. So what we're gonna do here is we're not actually going to steal Jevin's diamonds We're not a thief on this server. Okay, we are definitely not a thief But we are going to play this out for as long as possible Okay, <laughs> we're gonna make Jevin think that it was actually three stacks of diamond blocks We will return this money to Jevin at some point but not before me and Mumbo come up with a good way to use it and spend it, okay? So, bear in mind, we're not stealing this, but we are gonna trick Jevin since he decided not to read the book properly. Unless you guys think I should just take this money, in which case, let me know in the comments. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. How I, I really want to know how many diamonds this is. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. there's so many I can't even fit them all in. So that's a full chest full of diamonds. That's more money than me or Mumbo ever need. So... <laughs> okay, so, well, if he's willing to pay, I'm, um, I'm willing to keep it. I don't think I've ever seen this many diamonds, <laughs> this many diamonds on the floor. Okay, so I've turned this all back into diamonds. Now, so this is going to, I'm going to put this off to the side. Now, half is for me. And half is for Mumbo, since we are going halvesies on this. This is an architect project, so we are going to have half each. Now, that is more money. Even half of that is more money than I've got, so that is great. Now, Jevin is actually online at the moment, so why don't we just message him? Also, you might notice that in the base, I've actually put a trim around everything. So, before, they were just plain white pillars. So, what I've done is I've taken some cyan terracotta, and I've worked it all the way around and around the pillars, and also I made it uh, mimic the w the ring around the middle as well. And I think that's added quite a lot. It's made it feel a bit more full in here. I also tidied up some of these walls a bit because they were looking a bit um, uneven in general. But there's still something wrong with all of these. Ah, Jevin. He's just said, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this off as uh, that he's paid the full amount. Uh, that is described in the book <laughs> and if he goes back to check then he will definitely see that it said diamond blocks and he won't know the difference and we're just gonna see how long we can keep this going oh I was about to say <laughs> I just said come on over bro he's already here hello bro hello what's up man oh not much not much so you are actually the first ever customer for stash for cash which Ooh. is mad and you've already given me payment. I've put that away in my vault. Thank you very much. For the low, low price of three stacks of diamond blocks. I think it's totally worth it, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, it's definitely worth that much money. I'm 100%. 100%. Um, so, shall I take you up? I mean, let's head over. What we I was going to fly up there. Oh, you don't have to. i got a little <laughs> elevator yeah. as well. Oh, look at you go. It's better for the reveal of the machine, you know? Dun 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 dun, 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 dun. dun. That's awesome. So this is I've it. I've never seen this before, so this is this is new for me. 
this is my secret lab and then like behind me you'll see like the architect logo there so like this is a joint ah, venture yeah. i mean mumbo had <laughs> to give me permission i'm just gonna get rid of this beacon here so we can get the full effect hmm. there we go so Beautiful. this is the hmm. unnamed machine i still haven't had a good name for it yet i mean I, well i've seen loads of brilliant suggestions but none of yeah. them quite have uh, hit the mark yet some people are saying like just the mustache remover type thing or like giving it abbreviations so it's the um unnamed machine but the shop is stash for cash <laughs> i'm gonna throw out a name here it doesn't have to stick go on but i'm gonna go with the the stashinator 9000 stashinator 9001 maybe there you go perfect <laughs> it's, 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 i mean it's gotta be over 9000 so i might i might actually do that let's let's uh put that in this is exciting. Now I don't have to look at Mumbo's stash all day long. I know, right? I mean, the oh, whole reason we created ever. this is so we don't have to look at his facial hair all the time. Yeah. But it, have See, you seen you. have you seen his face without the mustache? It's actually a little bit disturbing. Oh, God. It looks all what wrong. Are, what are we actually doing to ourselves if we think about this? Maybe <laughs> the stash is better. No. No, no, <laughs> no. Like, no, we need the diamonds. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so all you have to do is press the okay. button in the middle, the brown button, and then okay. step back and enjoy the machine. And then once it's complete, Mumbo's mustache, wherever he is in the universe, his mustache will be gone. Good riddance. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And? Oh, the AFK song. Yeah. Oh, mumbo, that's so cool. Mumbo, mumbo, AFK. Yeah, yeah. Da, I'm going to take that da, 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 away. Da, da, da. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so good. That is, that's perfect. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I, just, I love the way it's like his mustache comes off and it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's definitely like one of those cartoons where it's just like, it's like when they have the fake mustaches and it just kind of falls off and he's like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> So that's now, great. basically, that's that's <laughs> it for now. What's happened is Mumbo's mustache will have crawled off his face and gone and scuttled away somewhere in the Hermitcraft server. I don't know where. You don't know where. Mumbo certainly doesn't know where. And then it's either up to Mumbo to find it, or if he can't be bothered, whoever finds it after after that can return it if they want, or they could ransom mm. it back to Mumbo. <laughs> uh, I, I'm thinking ransom. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, how much is Mumbo willing to pay to get his mustache back? Because we can't activate this machine again until he's got it back. Ooh. It's stuck like this yeah. until it's returned. There's only one and Mumbo's his... mustache. Now, I, I live in America, and it's getting very cold because it's winter time. I don't know if it's winter time there or not, but that could be some serious like face burn. Oh yeah, that's a face scarf right there. That is a that Ooh. is a lip warmer. He's gonna want that yeah. back. I definitely, definitely need that back, so. So now that we've activated the machine, it's actually been a little while. Mumbo Jumbo is actually on the server, but before we go and give him his share of the money, I actually want to finish off a bit of this base. We're gonna be doing a lot of work today. A lot of hard grind. This base hasn't changed enough in a long time. So we're actually gonna work on the very top segment and finally finish the main structure. There's still not the details that I'd like, but we're going to finish the main bit. And then we're going to do something very silly with the base. All right, let's get into the time-lapse. So we're going to be working on the very last segment of this build, the very top bit. It's going to look exactly the same as the rest of the build, but we still have time for a couple of questions. It's only going to be a minute long. Jake's World says, will you ever post any other games other than Minecraft? The answer is yes, and occasionally I do, but it has to be a very special game. Or if it's a, a promotional video, then I may deviate from the Minecraft, but for the most part, it is going to stay Minecraft. Abo t 7 to 7 says, when is your house tour, please? Well, I'd love to show you guys around in a house tour video on my second channel. So subscribe to that if you would enjoy that. But I'm also scared that people are going to find out where I live. <laughs> Gaming Bro one says, why is your Twitter feed so filled with cats and how old are you? Well, my Twitter feed is filled with cats because my cats are a huge part of my life. I absolutely love them and I love taking pictures of them. And I am 25. 
are you going to start uploading more building tutorials? The answer is, there's probably going to be less building tutorials than there were in previous years. The reason is, just there doesn't seem to be the same demand from me on my channel for those tutorials, they just don't perform as well, and people have been asking more about Hermitcraft and other series that I do. So, until the demand for those kind of videos comes back, I would prefer to stay with the more entertainment side of things, as it is slightly more enjoyable to make as well. Oh, Alright, that's all we have time for today. Thank you very much for everyone that gave me questions on Twitter. Let's get back into it because Mumbo has just come on the server. So, Mumbo is still on the server here, so what I'm going to do is just deliver his half of the profits. Now, I still don't know what to do uh, with this, because this is a stack and a half of diamond blocks. So, we need to decide what to do, whether we're just going to accept it, because Jevin's unbelievably rich. Let's go and be the delivery boy for Mumbo's part of the payment. Now, all we got to do is find the stashless mat. There he is. Now, in theory, he should... Ow. He, he should not have a mustache. Special delivery for the Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> yep, he's, he's missing his mustache. Payment delivery. <laughs> Look at all that, making it rain. Hi, Mumbo. So, I've just given you your half of the payment, right? Right. That is what Jev... This is how it went down. So, Jevin left me that many diamonds, three full stacks of blocks in my base. So, I was a naughty. I went back to the stash for cash shop, and I changed right. the book to say three stacks of diamond blocks so that if he ever goes back to check the price that's what it's gonna say in the book <laughs> that, that is a tiny bit cheeky it's a bit cheeky isn't it um i don't actually plan on keeping these diamonds but i think we should see how long we can carry this on for yeah yeah i i feel like i feel <laughs> I mean, I, like, it's nice having them. Yeah, um, I know, right? <laughs> like, like, I'm very tempted. I don't even know what to do. I, I, I literally don't know what to do with myself at this point in time. Um, I think it's safe but, to say we can spend some of the diamonds because we actually would have got a few stacks. Yeah. However, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel too good about actually taking these diamonds, but and we will make sure that Jevin gets them back in the long run. But for now, yeah. while he has no idea, we should totally play the, the game. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, we could try and invest them and then see if we get more. No, that sounds like a tip. That's an, that's an easy way for us to lose all the diamonds, isn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to lose. Okay. If we try and invest them, we're definitely <laughs> just going to lose them and be like, oh, Jevin, you, you gave you promised you gave us the money. Like, what, what do you want? <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to think of something. Yeah. Something. I think the key here is... Don't spend all of them, just in case he comes back and gets mad. But yep. at the same time, he doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can live the life for a bit. <laughs> Have fun. But also, let's take a look at what this looks like, finally. My goodness, it actually looks complete. It doesn't look like it's got anything missing. Now that is brilliant. I really feel like my base is a landmark. It is super impressive. I am really enjoying this. Now earlier I mentioned I was going to do something extremely silly. And yeah, I am. And it's silly because I don't have the resources to start this project, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to build a giant ring all the way around here. So it's going to go this wide. It's going to travel all the way around. It's going to encompass the little mail system. It's going to keep going like this. I mean, it's taking me a few seconds just to fly around this circle at top speed. Think how long this is going to take to make. That took me ages. Just this little bit down here took me who knows how long. To make a circle this big is absolutely bonkers. So I'm going to make like a little walkway that goes all the way around and then you see where these pillars are I think I might try and make pillars that go like the opposite way, but a little bit smaller Hopefully that makes sense in terms of a concept 
It should look excellent. It should look really brilliant, I think. The circle is going to help build this area up outwards. Because this build is so insanely tall, it really needs a bit of width. But all it needs is a little bit. But a little bit at this scale. We're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks. And I cannot afford to get that circle wrong. Now, last episode, some of you noticed that I had a box up here called Gem Donations. Okay? Now... If you open this up, someone has- this is actually Mumbo's gems that he's kindly given to me and a load of people have also given me their gems. Now the gems aren't particularly used on the server, but I, the- the beautiful not quite poultry man, it wasn't me, it was the man in the chicken costume, is going to do something with them. I'm going to create a very fun game for all of the hermits to enjoy. So all I gotta do is head down here to the gem collector, give him all my gems, turn all of these into player heads, so that gave me a stack and a bit, and then I go to this fella, and I scroll all the way to my head, pop them in here, and I get a bunch of green heads. Now, why am I getting so many green heads? Well, this is the fun bit. You see, I've been collecting gems for a few weeks now, and I have collected quite a substantial amount of green heads. And that's because I'm going to start the green head hunt. So this is going to be an extraordinarily fun game where I hide hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of my own face around the server in places that the hermits will never, never expect. And we're going to start like an easter egg hunt, but with my face. It's going to be absolutely hilarious. So the idea is that I'm going to take all of these physically and I'm going to place them around the server. Some of them might be easy, some of them might be a little more hidden everywhere everywhere i can think of okay there's obviously a few rules that have to be done with this so number one you cannot store your green heads in a chest this is a no-no you can't store them like this like this any way you like you have to if you're going to play this game you have to store them like this so this might mean that you're creating a green head vault or some other method of storing your green heads but, here's the real fun part. Other hermits can steal your green heads. So, you better protect your green heads or someone is going to steal my face from you. The other rules are fairly just, you know, gentleman's rules. You cannot go and buy green heads from the Statue of Hermity. That is definitely a no-no. No green heads can be purchased apart from myself if I want to leave more in the game. And then, after a certain amount of time, the person with the most green heads, and I'm going to have to go to people's bases and count them. So if they, oh, there's six green heads there, that's not very good because there are stacks of them around. And it should end up with a pretty decent prize. And I'm going to really grind hard to give a lot of really, really good prizes. So that's pretty much the rules. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a green head over in the shopping district, just a small one. And if people want to participate, all they got to do is read the rules. And then once the competition is done, I'm going to take down the green head. Okay, we're going to make something super temporary, not too impressive, just so that we can get the rules of across. Just so that we can get the rules across. What is this? Is this the... Oh my goodness, I think this is the, the Hermitcraft rail system. How awesome is this? Uh-oh. While we're here in the shopping district... Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. So, this is my little cart, as everyone knows. We've got a few bits of profit here. I'm selling all of this quartz, as usual. Quartz is my way of making diamonds on the server. And basically, what's been going on here is exactly the same thing that's going on with the log industry. So, Zedaf, who owns quartz, warts, and shorts here, has been buying my products, going straight over to his shop, and putting them in here for a tidy, tidy profit here. Not cool. <laughs> so that's what he's been doing. So he is officially banned from my shop. I've already raised the prices because he's trying to undercut me. It's now two diamonds for three stacks. But because that's pretty funny, I've just banned him from my shop. So banned hermits. Zedaf. <laughs> <laughs> so if you catch him if you catch him buying from my shop again you let me know and i'm gonna confiscate all of his stock again <laughs> so we need to find a quick temporary place to tell everyone about the green head hunt 
perhaps here. Perhaps here is a good place because it's right next to my pickle shop and it's right next to the rocket place and everyone uses the rockets. Have I actually sold any pickles recently? No. No one wants pickles these days. So we're not going to do anything too fancy at all. We're going to make a little miniature green head right here. Nothing too big. I look so weird without a fringe. I should always have my hair on. I'm a bit like Mumbo. As soon as I take off my hair, I look really strange. Look, so this is my fringe. It's kind of like my whole thing. It's my identity. But if I take it off, I look just as strange as Mumbo. <laughs> there we go. That's literally all I'm going to do because, again, after this competition is over, that is it. It is done. And I'm going to remove this whole thing. So I'm not going to waste too much time making it all pretty and nice. Because all this is, is to grab people's attention as a little notice board. And I just need to do a few more things, I think, to make this look a bit more enticing. Right, I really hope I haven't forgotten something here. Maybe I should have done it in a book instead of signs. But I might as well also start actually placing them. Because that's going to take the longest, I think. Actually placing these green heads everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. So, it says, Welcome to the Green Head Hunt. The headhunting game that will win you prizes. Green heads have been placed all over the server. All you have to do is collect as many as you can. The hermit with the most heads wins. Rules. You must not store your heads in any chest. Hopefully that makes sense. You are not allowed to buy more green heads. You can steal other green heads if you find them. And then it says green will count the hermit head supply on December the 1st. Good luck. So I don't think I'm going to tell them just how many heads that I have. Because then they won't know, you know, the total amount. Because if they know that they've got over half, they know they've won no matter what. So I think I'm going to keep that a closely guarded secret. And I'm probably going to add even more green heads as I go along. So... Those are the rules. I really hope I haven't missed anything. There are absolutely no prizes in here whatsoever yet, but I'm going to change that immediately. And I think I'm going to add more prizes as I go along. Scar, 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 your shop still has mobs everywhere. Light this up. Look at this. <laughs> Look, a creep has already blown this up. Oh my goodness. So what I've got here is the prize that I think people will want the most. This. Grian will help you with any prank. It's like an IOU. So if, let's say that Jevin, for example, wants to prank Mumbo and he won this, I would be obliged to help him do it. Now, I won't do any prank for someone, but I will help you finish your prank and even make it a bit better if I can come up with something. I need to make sure straight away that I've got enough prizes to entice people to participate in this. So... I'm going to make sure that I've got some of the best gifts you could possibly get. And I already know something that people really want, and that is quartz. So if I just take some of the stock from here and pop it into here, I can do two shulker boxes full of quartz. Easy peasy. I am sacrificing quite a lot of diamonds here, but this should be really fun. This will be worth it. Now, I'm going to be placing these green heads absolutely everywhere in people's shops, in people's houses, in people's mine shafts, everywhere. It's going to take me a long time to do, but it's going to be cool. I think this is going to be really, really fun. Now, that's as many as I'm going to place on camera. The stacks and stacks of green heads everywhere else. Well, I'm going to hide those a little bit better. I'm only showing you where I'm placing these ones because I think these ones are going to get found super easily anyway and it doesn't really matter too much, you know? So I'm going to start hiding them more carefully in places that you definitely wouldn't even expect. It's a real bummer giving away all of this gravel because you've seen how much white concrete I use in this, in this server, so... This is, I'm giving away something of real value here. I don't want this competition to be worthless. I think most of the stuff that I'm going to give away as a prize are going to be in the form of resources. So that's going to be enticing. Plus all of these shulker boxes, it's a really good deal. Man, this looks really rough with all of these heads here. I maybe should have put this all in a book, 
because it doesn't look good, but I kind of like it as a billboard. It, it's less less of a pain. So this is the prize chest, and more prizes will be added over time. I'm going to start off with this, because I think this is potentially a good place to start for people that are interested in getting some stuff. So there's 64 diamonds, pretty standard. Green will help you with any prank. There is two shulker boxes full of gravel, and there's two shulker boxes full of nether quartz. Now that is very valuable stuff right there because you have to grind hard for that kind of stuff. So I think that's probably where we're going to leave today's episode with the advent of the green head hunt. So there is two weeks for everyone to find the green heads or enough green heads to win the prize. Okay, so thank you very much for watching everyone, and I hope everybody has a really good time hunting these green heads. Now, I am going to spend many, many hours placing all of these green heads. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be participating, because I obviously know where they all are, but this has been made exclusively just for everybody to have a lot of fun with it. So, thank you very much for watching everyone. I'm going to get placing all of these heads, <laughs> and goodbye! I hope no one tries to steal my head, like my actual head, that would be bad.